going on boys and girls? We are no longer in Jupiter, Florida. We are in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We got Annie up front and we are on the high tides rig, super tanga. We got Jamie running the boat. We got Conchita and Olga. And we're gonna do a little bit of yellowfin tuna fishing. Maybe catch a marlin, some dorado, cubada, whatever, most probably, whatever. So, we're looking forward to it. What do we gotta do, Jamie? Get some sardinas? Yes, we need to get Adam's favorite bait first. And then run far out there. Far? Yeah. Far. Well, Pretty much going to the Bahamas today for reference, you know? But that's a regular run for them. It's kind of a regular run for us, so we don't mind. And we're stoked we got the weather to do it. We're looking forward to it. All right, we're riding out right now. Having camera issues, of course. Pop the hook. Here, let me throw him this. He didn't get the hook, did he? He definitely got the bait though. Yeah. Here, you might eat this. Film this, Andy. Date vuelta, date vuelta. Spindle beak. We'll let you know if we get bit. A little spindle beak on the run out. Alright, we just pulled up to the air. We're gonna be pulling some drifts and Bonita trolling, slow trolling. And we got a couple scratches on the screen. Jamie is gonna bridle the gog and put it on a flat line out the back as a long. I'm gonna put on a deep bait. Working mine in the nose. Jamie's going bridle. I'm going old school. All this technology Jamie's got these days. Beautiful condition to be out here for sure. Yeah. See, goggle eye next to the boat. You're swimming? Oh, but yours won't have any option. No, he's going down. <laughs> he's going, going down. down. I got no lead in my pocket. Somewhere. Somewhere. Mexican deep eight. We're going down. I'll let you know where we're a bit. Gotta show da Jamie the uh, rubber band ways back home. We'll see. I'm about to get a deep bait bite. Oh, there's something that Benita's in front of us. 
That looks like tuna. That looks that big. That yeah, sure. yeah, I saw small and I saw big blow up. Look at that. Tuna. 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 Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like tuna. We need that's a popper now. Throw a popper in there. It's done. You can put a popper on it, would be a good idea, I guess. All right, I'm throwing the popper up front for a little bit. We saw some big tunas eat bonitas. And Olga is tight on the jig. It looks like a bonita, a little bonita, which would be bait for us. And if it is, tuna tube. Yeah, see, si. Olga, what's the story? I don't know. Bonito? Maybe, but no fighting bonito. No? Maybe, yes. Yeah, see? Si. Maybe. Bonito, and you know back home, how much I do not enjoy vanitas, but here they use them as bait. So Jamie's getting the tuna rigs, tuna tubes fired up, and blackfin, blackfin, or bonito, bonito. Yeah, good bait though, very good bait. And if he doesn't live because he got fought hard, we can use him for chunks. That's what the tunas eat here. Are you going to put it on right now? No. Hopefully he's not too gassed. How? Oh. Tuna tube. Good? Buena. Alright. That's marlin or tuna bait number one. Jamie's tight. It's acting funny. Sm hey, it's coming my way a lot. Small or just swimming at you? I think it's swimming at me. I'm not sure. Tuna's... Oh, birds are working over there. Get it's definitely swimming straight at you. Rainbow Runner esque. Oh, yeah. Tuna that swam at you, maybe. Maybe. Fighting weird. Yeah, tuna that was swimming at you. Hopefully. Hopefully. That yeah. would make me happy. Yeah. He liked the chunks. Chunk ass. Tuna. I don't think it's big, but. No. It's our first fish, which is the hardest always, so we'll always. take him. We'll take him. I'm gonna get a chunk rod out. Oh, big problem. The chunks are being eaten by Blue Runner. Oh, no. Big, big rainbow. What but did she see? got? Bonito. Oh, Blue Runner. Oh, is it a, I saw Blue, Blue Runner. Blue Runner. That's what they're eating. Good, ba the, good bait or no? Right there. Yes, good bait. Oh, yeah, Blue Runners are eating but the chunks. Eating the chunks. No. We need to make big chunks. Yeah, big chunks. Blue Runners are eating them. But life brings life. Yeah, that's definitely. Oh, that's definitely a big, uh, big rainbow runner. That's a small one too, right? It's a small one for us here, yeah. Wow. You look like you got him bridled. <laughs> but we guaranteed sashimi for today. For sure. For sure. He ate a live goggle eye. They would not do that back home for that size. But beautiful fish. And they get a lot bigger than they do here in Mexico versus at home. Small, smallas chunks. Another rainbow. I think the tide is now starting to move a little and they're gonna activate. We're starting with rainbow. Activate. Activate. There's a chunk. Oh yeah. Gotta be small. Blue runner. Que toque el agua la caña. Chunk bait. More chunkies? More chunkies. Okay, that's a big blue runner. It's good chunk bait. That's kind of tuna esque there. I kind of like that. Look at that. That's tuna esque. Oh. Yeah. Or a very good rainbow runner. That's not. That's not as small as the one that you just no, caught. No. no. The head shakes yeah, head shakes feel like a tuna. They look like they feel like a tuna ponchita. <laughs> nice job, bro. All right, I'm gonna go back and cut some more chunks. Ponchito's tight. Tell me when you see the lead, yeah? See? It's nice, I just saw it. It's 80 feet here. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy shallow. Can't believe. I can't believe I could dive this, Jamie. Yes. Guide your line. Okay. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Real, 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 real. Big rainbow runner. Wow. Hasta parece dorado. Yeah, that's big. Look at that. Oh, see. Oh my God, yes. That is a yeah. big That's a big rainbow runner, dude. That's a big one. Wow. They do not get that big at home. Ah. 
Nice job, Ponchito. Yeah. Está buena, Ponchito. Yeah. Nice. Puño. Uh, yeah. Ponchito. I'm going to rinse them off. Ponchito with a big rainbow runner. Nice job, yeah. Ponchito. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, bro. Let's grab some pictures. That's a good fish. Circle hook. That's See, we don't get those rainbow runners. Those are the ones we were just talking oh, that's about. That's a big one. Big one? Yeah. Hold them up. Just Ponchito. Que lo levantes poquito para él. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> photos, photos. Yeah. We're chunking a bait right now. A lot of big rainbow runners. I know there's tunas around. We've seen a couple up top. They're being kind of suspect right now. But we're going to chunk this bait and I guarantee it's going to get bit by something. The second we throw in chunks, they're all in a bind of those. There you go. That's a rainbow runner. I don't think that's a blue runner. Man, they feel like tuna. Did you see that? Like tuna. Look at that. Uh, and the head shake. Yeah. A little different, but yeah. Yeah. There we go. Hell yeah. Did you catch a tuna? I don't know. We're praying. But yeah. it's like another rainbow. Yeah, it feels like a big rainbow. A big rainbow. Maybe a tuna. A lot of sashimi for the poor family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me. Look at that. They fight like a tuna. See? See? Look at that. What? How is that a rainbow run? I might be a tuna on a body. You tell me. Uh, if it's a tuna, it's like a 30 pounder. If it's a rainbow runner, it's a big one. We'll take that. We'll take whatever it is, actually. I think oh my god. I think is that a rainbow runner? Oh my god. I think this is it's a, giant, a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Giant rainbow. Yeah. Giant rainbow. There you go. Like 15 pound rainbow. You got, you got me the hook? Gaff? Oh my god, he's doing it. went over him. Wow, that's a big rainbow run. That's a giant rainbow. That's wow. definitely 15. Yeah, that's a 15, 18 pound rainbow runner. <laughs> Look at how wide he is. Yeah. Nice, nice rainbow babe. runner. See, I told you we don't get them big at home, but they got big ones and they like the bonito that Urga caught. So nice rainbow runner. We're gonna bleed them. Circle hook. Got them. These things fight hard. Wow, I'm shape. surprised. Yeah, I'm very surprised on how hard they fight. You wanna bleed them? Yeah. Turn it. The other side. Huh. Okay, what do we got going on, Jamie? We fillet the fish here in Mexico. It's a little different in Florida. They have as much ice as they want all over, but here we have to fight for it a little more. So these smaller fish we like to fillet, throw them in the cooler on ice, and that's the way we do it in Mexico. Yeah, big, big rainbow runner. Jamie's gonna knock the sides off them and we'll show you one side. So they start to heat up quick. You don't see the skin start to getting hot. And you don't wanna, if you're, you're not gonna ice them, you wanna clean them because their, in, their insides is what ruins them. Their insides, their organs, their heart, their liver, it's hot, it's got warmth. It cooks them from the inside and you gotta clean them if you don't have ice. Dexter, Dexter. Oh, look at that knife. That'll make it better for me, no? Yeah, sponsor <laughs> this guy, yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Tuna. Beautiful. Let me see. Hold that up for the camera. Look at that beautiful, gorgeous piece of meat. Gorgeous. It literally looks identical to tuna. So we're going to eat it. Yeah, I'm getting bit right now. It's not big. He's got it right now. Like me? No tuna bites yet. They're being finicky. Seen a couple fish blow far away. 
But we got another big rainbow runner on. Can't complain, I'll take rainbow runners any day. Okay, Annika's fighting a rainbow runner. Yeah. Like a kook, mucho kook, mucho kook, is that how you say? <laughs> okay, she back to you. Okay, back to me. Yeah. Wow, that's a big rainbow runner. Golly, they got them big in Mexico. We do not have rainbow runners like this. Another big one. Oh, you didn't like that. It's even bigger. Holy cow. It's even bigger. Big rainbow runners yeah. in Mexico, I guess. Wow. Hold that one up, Olga. In the sun. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Not, that's a absolute pig of a rainbow runner. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. It's heavy. Heavy. Nice. Nice job. Lead them. Mm -hmm. We definitely don't have any shortages of sashimi or poke bowls or whatever you want to call it. That's a 20 pounder. No? Definitely. That thing's big. Olga? That's a big rainbow runner. We're going to bleed them. And keep the blood out of the boat. You want to know how to do that without a knife? Come right here. Get your finger in there. Boom. Now I hold them in the water. So I don't get Jamie's boat all bloody. And he's bleeding out. No knife. Sometimes if you don't have a knife, you don't need it. But I would advise getting one. Oh. <laughs> he didn't like that. Beauty, look at that fish. Wow, huge rainbow, and it looks like a California yellowtail. And Jamie said he's ha caught them and eaten them before, and they're two totally different fish. So crazy, not same family either, right? No, how is that possible? How does that thing even eat a goggle eye? Look at that, look at his colors, beautiful fish, and uh. You want me to clean this one, Jamie? Please. <laughs> You're stoked. We're gonna knock a side off this first. We're gonna dispatch this fish, so right there. See how he didn't like that. Sorry. Put the lights out for him there. Yeah, no moss. No moss. Okay, come over here. Oh, this is where the... Yeah. Follow the dorsal fin right there. All the way down. Gotta be careful of the Jamie. Heavy, slippery. Okay, then I come back with the knife. Up just like that. Looks just like tuna pretty much. Conchisto. Conchito. Yeah. What do you think? Really Looks like tuna? Yeah. <laughs> nice big fillet of Rainbow runner. And then you guys don't skin it, you just throw it in the bag like that? Yeah, it seems to hold them a little better when the skin is still on and for sure. take it to the house. And also it's a lot more comfortable to work at the house and yes. pressure. Yeah, you don't want to be taking it off the skin here, then you get scales and blood on it. It's nice to just leave it on and then, like Jamie said, deal with the back of the house when you're in the air conditioning. So we'll see you guys when we get tight next. Okay, so I asked Jamie, because he told me they troll planers for the Benitos. And he said, Mexican planers. 
So I assumed it was just a Mexican planer. This is the planer. Dive, deep diving plug, and then behind it is like five feet with a little squid skirt and a circle hook. Circle hook, so when you hook the Benito, corner of the mouth, you don't want to gut hook these. They're going to be used as baits and slow trolled for a few hours until you get a tuna or a marlin bite, but we're going to send it out. And we're just going to troll around, seeing a couple of the Benitas. I got to call it regular, Benita, Benitas, the Benitas. Seen a couple of the Benitas just blowing up standard Benita stuff for it get all fired up so we'll definitely get a bit how far do you want this one Jamie? I think this sure. is enough. Yeah. I did this will be in the middle and we're gonna put this one short. Oh it's the biggest one huh? Yeah. That's okay. You can put it on this side. This side? Yeah you can put it in the downrigger no problem. Oh, Who would have thought? Can't catch a Benita. So I've been a little MIA, MIA this video. Your girl has been seasick. Oh, right here? Bonito! Oh. They're deep, they're, they got the long, 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 long rapala. Um, we are doing a little watermelon. Best time of the day. Best lemon and lime day. action. Super refreshing. There's nothing better than this after a post surf or. Whoa! In this case, on Tuna! The tuna! That ponchito. <laughs> Tell them what you think. Looks like a tuna. <laughs> That, nice that is the nicest watermelon. It is. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera so I can help him. Keep happening, bad captain. I get the broken a, pieces. I guess I'm bad. And listen to me. Mm. Isn't it cute? Papisito. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're tight on another bonita. This is the size we're looking for. That small one, definitely gonna get munched, but. This is a little bit bigger size, normal Bonita. And we got Yamie rigging up right now. So originally we were gonna fish big J hooks with what, 400 pound, 300? 300. 300 pound uh, mono. Big, big, big heavy leader for Marlins. Um, but we have smaller baits, the smaller Bonitas, and those giant J hooks will kill them. So. <clears throat> We're gonna size down 130 pound fluoro and a smaller circle hook. Not small, but smaller. And I think we're gonna get one. The goal today is to catch a marlin for you guys. Never seen one on the channel. Um, little catch, clean, cook marlin action. So ever since we got here, Adam has been on a journey to widen his vocabulary. With Spanish words, but he's just he's been making yeah, up his own Spanish it. words, and nobody really knows what he's saying. Uh, here, are you in oh, this? Yeah. Right, Olga. Here you go, Annika. Why <laughs> hasn't Adam been coming up with his own Spanish? Uh, that's good. Try <laughs> always. This is, this is right, right. Oh, is this oh is that's the bird. bird. <laughs> oh, right behind the bird. Look at the bonitas right behind the bird. Ben bonitos. <laughs> we put them in the boat. Okay. Troll right. See the bird. Benitas, look at the bird. Oh, yeah. Pull right past them. Literally just a little squid skirt. Cut, shave down. Take la poncho corta. Poncho! Poncho on the Benitas. Okay, I need one big leader. Oh. Yeah. One big leader. Oh. Ponchito. Oh. Ponchito. He was sitting there waiting for that thing. Look at him right now. Boom! If it's a good one, Panchito has. No, it's a small one. Huh? Now we're tight over here. We've got that bonita off. I will show you this bonita this time. Irregular. Good? Yeah, 
Yeah, you, it's better if you leave it in the water to swim. Really? Right now, yes. It's a good one. Good one. Leave them in? Yeah. Or rig it right now. Okay, we're gonna. Let's not tie to any rod. Eh? Don't no. throw it in the water. No, I won't. <laughs> that happened before all right trust me i could i could uh i would have done it <laughs> i need to go fast oh crap i don't like not holding them okay throw it in the water and hold the leader whoa yeah, he's fired up yeah. you got it? it i got it I okay got it. perfect thank you okay yeah, okay come here pasa mil vueltas okay. from the venita over the side of the boat, see him? That's our bait. I'm gonna hold him in the water while uh, Jamie gets rigged up. So we'll tight back here. But hold him in the water while Jamie gets rigged up and we got enough bait. I got the over. Oof, there we go. That's a little that's a little tuna bait, yeah. yeah. He wants to go faster than we do. So if you guys have never seen a tuna tube, you're probably living under a roco. <laughs> so they look dead, you hold them, but they are plenty alive. This one's better, huh? One behind? Yeah, one behind. This one's weak. This one's weak. So in the tuna tube, they're just sitting down, not moving, but water's rushing through their gills, and that's what tuna, jacks, all those species, they never sit still. They're always moving. They always need to breathe water through the gills. So where we got one out super long, he's gonna put that one out mid, I think, and we're gonna put one on the downrigger and then a goggle eye somewhere in the spread. So uh our possibilities. Marlin, tuna, big dolphin. Sometimes it could be a huge rainbow runner, Ida Benita. But Buena Pesca, Con Jamie. Tuna tube smacking me. He's fired up again, that one in the back. Look at him. Ooh. Yeah, he is. He got stoked. Okay, here's the setup. No more drifting. Bonito on the rigger long. Bonita on the downrigger. And then on the long over there, we got a bonita. And on the short, we got a goggly eye. Googly eye. So, we're gonna see what happens. It's, it's very slow right now. We're kind of in a, a little midday lull, but sometimes you get that 12 to two o'clock bite, depending on what's going on with the moon. I, we didn't even look, who knows? But fish were definitely not active this morning. Saw a couple tunas, but not a whole lot going on. Um, could be an afternoon slash evening thing. So we're going to grind it out. We'll see what happens. Trolling these bonitas, we just hooked a nice dolphin. Oh, on the goggle eye, right? Yeah, he, he definitely tried to eat the bonito, but wasn't big enough. Despa, Pancho. Nice job, Pancho. Rápido, 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 rápido. Ahí está todavía, güey. No, 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 no. 
a Poncho se le aflojó, pero sí. porque vino por aquí el dorado. Vámonos, vámonos. Cada vez que sientes así una, una excitación, un, una, un problema, a, a le entrenas pedo. rápido para asegurarte a ver qué pedo. Si se fue, pues ni pedo se fue, pero si no. No, sí, sí. Not a very uh, active dolphin. He only jumped when he first ate it, and that was it. But a good fish for Panchito. And a good fish to start off our slow trolling. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. That gap's long. <laughs> Schooly mahi. Tacos. Aren't they the hardest to gaff? Like a peanut mahi? Yeah. Such, that's when you like a, a net. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want me to get behind you for the gaff? Whatever. You go, Yeah, you go over here, I'll get behind. Never? Yeah. Nice. Nice job. Ponchito. Nice. Nice little dolphin. Good eating sized fish. A vaina life in the corbeteña. Oh, what? Ay, I'm not like this little man. Okay, if you can understand that, drop a like. <laughs> nice job. Oh, there you go. All, all your. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yes. They do that. That's what a dolphin do, right there. I've had them jump out of coolers. Throw them in the cooler, don't close the, or don't don't seal the lid. They blow the lid off, boom, 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 out of the ice, back into the water, gone. Jamie goes, are you serious? Tell me where you're going now. He's not Se going very far. All your, all your nice leaders. We're gonna film Ponchito fillet this dolphin. Everybody's taking turns. You clean a lot of fish, no? Not too much, but I can try it. Yeah, try, and if no worries, I'll take over. Ponchito is obviously a surfer, as you can tell. Be careful, don't cut yourself. I'm going to teach you guys and Ponchito how to play. Yeah. You can just go straight across. Straight. Straight? Yeah, you can. It's, it's fine now. It's fine. No, you're good. Yeah. Good. Now, turn the fish around. So his head's facing you. Yeah. But on the other side. Oh, you can do it on that side too. Yeah. Start it. Yeah. Put your tip of the knife in here and just run it down. Use a tip like this. Uh, other way. Here. Yeah. Get. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now, you go like this. Put one hand with the finger on the meat. Here you go. Perfect. And just angle it down, just like that. Nice job. Perfect. Here, Ponchito. First Mahi play? Yeah. Looks good. Look at that dolphin fillet, Conchito. Now cut hard, like this. Ooh. Yeah, hard. Conchito's learning, but that was a great first dolphin fillet. But he's learning where the bones are and where you have to kind of saw a little bit and where you can let the knife glide. But great job all around. Hard bone right there. Yeah. You can go over and around. Oh, there was, okay. No, here. Uh, no, no. No, no. Here. Hold that. Let me show you. Look at that. Conchito. Nice job. Thank you, Ali. Great, yeah. great first mahi filet for Ponchito. Beautiful, beautiful meat. And now I'm going to show you how to skin him because it's tricky. All right. So I like to have to learn. Yeah. Just like I have to learn how to Thank serve. you, guys. Thank you. All right. So it's a little bit slippery here. So I'm going to cut it into sections like that. Take my first portion. Come right here. 
You gotta be careful right there. See that? All right, I see it. And then angle it down. Nice. It's okay to leave a little bit because you see all the red. Yeah. So you let that go. Left with that. Good stuff. Tuna tube. Come over here. This, no good. See the okay. stomach? Yes. Stomach, bones. Rib cage. Okay. No good. Do uh, good swordfish bait right here. See? Sometimes you can peel it. Dolphin. Might be able to peel this one off. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of bone. La, la tacita, la que usamos, la chica, ¿no? Ooh. Ouch. Ouchie. Ouchie Sita. Yeah, so clean. Okay. Oh man. The other side's trickier. You want to do the other side too? Yeah. So now you have the head tilted like this. Less proportion on the body, but you okay. just got to go slow. Just like when you surf. Right. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Ponchito's getting the hang of it. One, I gotta scoop another one. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! I think that 75 is indestructible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boys. All right, boys and girls, we were packing it up. Slow, very slow fishing today, but it was still a great time. And look at this little bird putzing around, looking. Look at him looking underneath. He goes underneath and he goes, okay, we're going to go home. And we did catch a couple of rainbow runners, caught a dolphin. Definitely going to do a catch clean cook for you guys. So you're going to want to see that. You want to stay tuned for the rest of the video. Uh, maybe ponchito, ceviche, sashimi? Si, sashimi or ceviche. Yeah? Yeah, both. Simon. Simon. <laughs> I'll see you back at the house. All right, we're back at the dock. Got some of the fish. I guess this is Mexican style. Mexican style. Yeah. Mexican style. Macairas. Normally we catch a fish, whatever, throw it in a, a cooler or a fish box with ice, like no bags, just ice. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the day, if we're selling them, gut, gut or gut them as we fish. If we're selling them, we'll gut them and then put them in the ice. But if we're just eating them or for a charter, just on ice till the end of the day, and then take them back and clean them because they're cold. Okay. They're easier to fillet. And then... Also, when the fish is cold, it's more easy to, to throw, right? I didn't know. Yeah. But, in different parts of the world, people do things differently, you know? Yeah. Like some, like, I know Victor's been on a lot of trips that people don't use ice or they just kill them and clean them when they get back. What was it that trip he told me to? Alaska, maybe. They just left him outside because it's so cold. <laughs> Not here. Yeah, I know. Mucho caliente. All right, <clears throat> we're back at La Casa de Jamie. <laughs> and Santa Maria Elena. Garlic? Yeah. Garlic Espanol? Ajo. 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 Mmm. <laughs> Pancho. Yeah. 
¿Qué es eso? Verduras. ¿Verduras? Ajá. ¿Vegetables? Sí, para agarrar fuerza. ¿Ah? Para agarrar fuerza. Strong. Ajá. <risa> to getting stronger. Yeah. Ahora está la mantequilla y ahora sí. Y ajo y pimienta y sal. Let me give you guys a little tour. That is the kitchen in there. And now here we have the bar. Pool, nights at light, bar, a lot of drinks. As many as you would like, but don't overuse your pass, your free drink pass. Don't overuse it. Because it's expensive. And Yeah. El baños. <laughs> Sanitaria. Que eso seasoning. Pimienta. Es a onion. Onion. Uh huh. Um, this. Pepper. Pepper. And salt. Onion. Salt. Plain simple. Good. And this? L lemon. Lemon and this. Garlic. Ajo. Ajo. Garlic. Ajo. Looks super good. I know it's going to be delicious. We're all burnt out. At least I know I am. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. And drink a cerveza. Drink a cerveza. And go to sleep. Espanol? Sí, a dormir. A dormir. A dormir? Ajá. Sleep? What's tired? I forget that word. Tired? Cansado. Cansado. That looks like good vegetables. Yeah. Cheeto. With a lot of love. A lot of love? Yeah. Gracias. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Looks good. Dorado. Mahi, mahi. 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 Espergase. ¿Ah? Es ¿Español? ¿Qué? ¿Dorado? ¿Espergas? Espárrago. 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 Olga and Pancho made dinner tonight. Looks yeah. super good. Yeah. Mahi. Dorado, whatever you want to call it. Rice, peas, asparagus, vegetables. Looks super good. What do we got, Annie? How is it? Oh, let's try the fish. What? Jamie. It's good. Jamie yeah, it's wink. Super good. I think Jamie wink, I guess. I think we all needed the vegetables after today, too. We did need some vegetables. When's the last time you ate a vegetable? Cactus tuna. Mm -hmm. Vegetable? Fruit. 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 Poncho? I'm going to do Today? Avocado. 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 Reef. Arugula. Arugula. Alright, we're going to enjoy this dinner. Tomorrow, we are not going to fish. We are going to hang out and make poke bowls for you guys. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be a full catch and cook. We're going to be in the kitchen showing you guys how we make our poke bowl. And it's going to be delicious. We have a lot of Rainbow Runner to go around. So we will see you in the morning. It is 8.30. And we're going to bed soon. If you guys want to come here and have this experience, I'm going to show you around a little bit. Me and Jamie are going to show you around La De Casa. Mañanos? Mañana. Mañana? Tomorrow. We'll show you guys around. Yeah? Yeah. And sure. if you want to have this experience, come here, eat the food, hang out with the crew. You got to come check out High Tide Fishing in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I'll have all the Jamie stuff linked down below in my description. It'll also be popping up on, on the screen here. His phone number, his website, all that good stuff. He's very busy, so if you want to get in the schedule, you got to do it now. All right, we are pulling up to the River Cafe and we're doing the amusement park walk all the way down.
Yeah, look at, look at that. that table, wow. Wow. Thank you. What do the girls think? Looks good. Nah, how about that? It's crazy. warm at all. I see your hair. Oh, it's crazy. beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Jamie. Alright, amigos. Gracias. Eso está bueno. No, no lo pongo. ¿Lo has probado, ah? No, ella no. Yo lo he probado. A mí me mata eso en el cochino. Mira. No, este va a ser otra onda, eh. Steven, okay, we had to come back for round two. We were here this morning. It was it means that you're hungry. amazing. It means that we love it. Well, I could you. eat That's here it. when I'm not hungry. That's it. So, what do we got? Okay, so guys, uh, I'm not really used to this um, type of fish because I don't even know it only on TV. But Jamie seems the one that um, fishes them all the time. This is called a uh, Rainbow Runner Ceviche Nike. So basically, it has some. Um, uh, Red onions, avocado, mango, cucumber, and a little bit of seaweed on top. But the sauce is the sauce is called Nikkei. So it's made yeah, out of fish and it has soy sauce and it has also brown sugar. And you always know it's a secret ingredient here and there. So Yeah, brown sugar. See? Wow. Please enjoy. It looks amazing, bro. Thank you so much. If you don't like it, we throw everything away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna like it, Steven. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Jamie had the first uh, kind of like glimpse of how how it is from our last fishing trip, but uh, yeah, it's it's different. It's amazing. I loved it. Steven. Thank you. I'm gonna die. No? He's on the diet. It's really good. Felicitaciones al chef. No, oh my this gosh. recipe is so good. ¿Tú lo hiciste? Pues al oh my gosh. Estoy diciendo, you, you, wanna, you wanna know something? I can't, hold on. I got it. Steven did it. Steven did it. Steven made this? Yes. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I love food, Jamie. We're lucky. We're very blessed. Very blessed. Any casita? Jamie, how good is that? What? It makes me feel like I'm lucky to be on Earth right now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very, very good food. I had food, sorry. I had a taste of that. One month ago, and we be, we went bass fishing. <laughs> I feel like it's even better now. It's insane. Insane. That is so good. It's like sushi on a chip. It really is so good. Mm. It's, really so good. it's like so much flavor in one bite. Oh my gosh. Steven is a wizard. He's a wizard. He's a good guy. Surf wizard. He is. He's a very good surfer on top of an amazing chef and manager. Okay, we're going backstage. Welcome to my crib. La Casa. La Casa. De Steven Larios. See? Rub that has 
cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, brown sugar also, and it has also like a, a little bit of curry on it. So this is gonna go on the pan, the flat pan. You're gonna serve it with some uh, sweet mashed potatoes and a passion fruit salsa. So he's just gonna start off. He's gonna start putting some oil, and then when, when it comes to the fish, um, flat sear it and ready to go. Awesome, awesome. No wonder. Look at this. Look at the sear. Wow. Beautiful. Try what? This? No, no, the, the ceviche and this. Oh, you, there's more ceviche? Yes, 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 so. You need to try it. I will. It was yeah, amazing, yeah. bro. Amazing. Yeah. Just a little bit of the Marsala wine. Marsala wine? Yeah. That's something that you had before, no? You, you know? made an Italian, no? Uh, like chicken Marsala. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, it's uh, really awesome. So this, I told them that maybe have them kind of like uh, cook on the medium side. Medium, sí. medium, medium well. rare, medium rare, okay, yeah, medium yeah. rare, okay. Yeah, or maybe medium, see. Sí. Okay, que lo quede como medio, eh? Medium, eh, sí. Medio, eh, pero sí. Like yeah, in, so. in between medium in between, and in between, sí. between medium rare, see? Sí, sí yeah. así, no, así como nada más medio, para que no se tan cocido por dentro, sí. Yeah, sí? So, yeah. that big in the States.
Woo. Well, you're gonna have a crazy mouth after you go this. Spicy? No. Let me tell you what. This guy's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's mucho caliente. Back here, more. Woo. But this is an experience of a lifetime being back here, meeting people that watch some videos like Steven and want me to come to the restaurant. We come to the restaurant and he's an awesome surfer, awesome friend. And me amigos, Steven. And great guy. And now we're here at his restaurant and it's mucho caliente, but very beautiful. Wow. We will see you guys out in the fans. Steven. Yeah. I can't believe it. This looks great. Looks amazing. Ladies, what do we think? It looks so awesome. Well, and it looks beautiful. It. I just want to take a bite of it. It almost looks like a dessert. Enjoy, guys. Hey. Thank you. Ready? I remember. I remember. I remember. <laughs> What's happening right now? Ay, qué romántico. You didn't even film me. He was, he was filming the board. We were filming that table the entire time. Me and Steven had a... <laughs> Gracias. All right. I... Yeah? Very... It's so good. It's like sweet. Just try it. Let's, let's just have you try it. Okay. And dip it in the passion fruit sauce. Look how pretty that is. With the strawberry garnish. That's a, a big, big bite. piece yeah. there. Woo! Big piece. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Lucky to be alive. Can't believe it. We made it to Mexico, Puerto Vallarta. Can you believe it? We're almost, we're almost done. We're almost done. Trip. That is so depressing. Depresiaso. <laughs> See? Wow. Jamie's not even, I, Jamie doesn't eat, I promise. He doesn't eat. He's grubbing right now, tweaking. What is that? Mashed sweet potatoes. Is it? It's like a... Mm. No, 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 no,
¿Te ha gustado, Jaguen? Sí. Gracias. No se nota. No, ya, mira nada más, eh. Me no. gustó mucho la salsa de maracuyá. Sí. Yo la que match la passion fruit salsa. Bien. 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 ¿Cómo fue yo, señorita? So good. So good. So good. Yeah, finish. Gracias. We're finished up with the food. I could eat a little bit more, but we're all very, very full. All got a dessert in. Everybody's happy. Everything good? Everything good, bye? Everything good, bye. <laughs> And it's pouring. La lancha is going to be slicked out. We are calling it here. We're gonna wrap it up. Come check out this restaurant, the River Cafe. Absolutely gorgeous experience. Like, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We had great food. Everybody had a great time. Just super dreamy, cool spot. And huge shout out to Steven for making that happen. So we're gonna see you guys back at the house and we're gonna close out this video. Not upside down. Wow, this place is dreamy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Viven. Estuvo increíble en la cena, la verdad. Y el desayuno, todo. Gracias. We're done. We're done here. This video is being closed out. I want to say a huge shout out to Jamie with High Tides Fishing. If you guys want to come get this experience. Everything from fishing to hanging out at the house, rivers, Steven, Lerios, Adventures. And then you get to come here to River Cafe, Panchito, Olga, Annika. Well, you don't get Annika, but everybody else. But it's an amazing time here in Puerto Vallarta. Can't thank these two guys enough. Thank you so much, Jamie, Steven, Lerios. Thank you, amigo. Yeah, bro, yeah. mi amigos. Yes, we will. And uh, this video is over. Moving weights out. Leo, ahorita cuando vayan por la camioneta ellos, me hacen el paro con la sombrilla, con la misma sombrilla bajas y para que le ayudes a las chavas. ¿Sale? Sí, vámonos. Vaminos! Vaminos us! Vaminos us! What type of Mexican activities are we doing? Jamie's the whitest Mexican I've ever met. Okay, we're running in the rain. Jamie is the whitest Mexican I've ever met. Mexican I've ever met. Woo!